Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of 5 Minutes or Less of EMS. I'm your host Kevin Mackey. We're coming to you again from the back of Reach 50 at Mather Airport. We're here again with Dr. David Duncan. We just completed the talk on TXA and kind of the history of TXA and its indications and use. And now I want to talk to you about the Sacramento County specific policy since I am the Regional Fire Medical Director for Sacramento County and Dave has a few people who work in Sacramento as well. So this is policy 8065. It just came out on May 1st. And the part I want to talk to you about is the addition of the tranexamic acid to it. So if you go to the third page of the policy at the top, you see that the very first box is, does the patient meet Sacramento County EMS agency anatomic, physiologic, or mechanism of injury field trauma triage criteria? If they do not, then that's a fallout and you don't give the patient TXA. But if the person does, the inclusion criteria are very similar to what Dr. Duncan just talked about. It's blunt or penetrating traumatic torso injury with signs and symptoms of hemorrhagic shock, including systolic blood pressures less than 90, or significant hemorrhage with significant blood loss and a heart rate greater than 120, or hemorrhage not controlled by direct pressure hemostatic agents. Okay, so now we'll cover the exclusion criteria. Many of this was talked about in the first video that Dr. Duncan and I did. Remember, greater than three hours, you do not want to be giving this to patients who've had their injury greater than three hours. It's been time since onset greater than three hours, I think is the way we put it. Isolated extremity injuries, if you can control it with a tourniquet or direct pressure. Remember about those patients with isolated spinal shock. Dr. Duncan also talked about that. Uh, if they've had a thromboembolic event like a stroke or an MI within the last 24 hours, we don't want to be giving TXA to those folks either. And then hypotension or traumatic arrest, I'm sorry, traumatic arrest with greater than five minutes or CPR without ROSC. So those are the exclusion criteria. You can refer back to the policy for specifics as well. If the patient meets the inclusion criteria, doesn't meet exclusion criteria, then we're gonna be giving TXA. Now, I thought I'd use Dr. Duncan today and we're gonna show you how to mix it, hang it, and give it. Perfect. Let's do Perfect. it. We're gonna we're gonna be doing some serious nursing here in a minute. Absolutely. Hopefully we pull it off. All right, All right. here we go. Okay, so Dave and I have everything here that you're gonna to need to mix and drip your TXA. So Dave's got a 100 cc bag. It could be saline, it could be D5W. He happens to be holding a 10 drip set. Some people carry 15. It's just gonna matter in your calculation and your drip rate. We're going to get to that. I've got a 10 cc syringe because TXA, as it turns out, comes in 10 cc bottles. It's 100 milligrams per cc or one gram in the whole bottle. And I've got a needle that I'm going to have to use to not only draw it out of the bottle, but also put it into the bag. So now we're going to walk through actually putting it into the bag first, spiking it, and then dripping it. Okay, and very important for this last part is do not forget to label the bag because when we hand this patient off, we're going to want the staff to know that our patient is in fact receiving TXA. Okay. We're going to redo that, dude. That just looked ridiculous. <laughs> That's So depending upon the size of your drip set, this happens to be a 10 drip set. To run in 100 cc's over 10 minutes is literally going to be 10, 100 drops per minute. So I'm going to set a metronome and I'm going to start adjusting my drip rate until I can hit every step of the metronome. So if you have a 15 drip set, obviously you're going to be running 150 drips per minute. Okay, so that's a wrap for today's episode of 5 Minutes or Less of EMS. Dave, thanks again for joining me. Kevin, thanks so much for having me. What a pleasure to talk about TXA. Absolutely. So refer back to your local policy for specifics on TXA. You can use some of the tips we talked about. But most importantly, we look forward to seeing you next time on 5 Minutes or Less of EMS.